Alléluia. Alléluia. Um, before we start tonight, I will as I try and get the text or the lyrics or the words of uh, the song Capable God. I would like to derive something from it for our teaching tonight. And so when you get it, we can put it on the screen and uh, go through it. Say amen. All right, John chapter 12, verses number 20 and 21. John the 12th chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. The Bible said there were seven Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of the side of Galilee. They desired him saying, sir, we want to see Jesus. We came to see Jesus. We wish to see Jesus. We require and desire to see Jesus the Christ. Say a good amen. The American can hear you. You have some petty do me, you know. You more yet, you know, near the Nubaco. I tell you, say, Hila Fubi or Honoma. What about fashion? I said, I'm so about this. So the one will bear Philip up, will free beside the Wagalili and ancient will be catching and say, We would have. Yep, I say, you know, yes, will bear Philip up, will free beside the Wagalili and ancient be catching and say, We would have. Yep, I say, you know, yes. So I haven't read you that. Allow me to read Luke chapter 21, verses number. 34, 35, 36. Luke 21, verses 34 to 36. Take it to yourselves, least at any time. Your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life. And so that they come upon you, and are worse for as a sinner it shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. The Bible said, Watch ye therefore and pray always, and ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore, pray always, and ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Amanya who ordained the Ajania free. Nebebe Nemo na Makwa Kwa Kuchina Unipa Bano Enim. Say a good amen. Before I allow you to take your seat, uh, Sunday we read a couple of scriptures and I would love to us to uh, do a recreation of just one of them uh, so that after that we can be able to take our seats. Say amen. Isaiah chapter number 40, verse number 13. Isaiah 4-0, verse number 13, 14 and 15. The Bible said, Who have directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, had taught him? With whom took he counsel? And who instructed God? And taught him in the path of judgment. And taught him wisdom. And showed him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations are like a drop, are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as a small, as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. Uh, I would like us to all read together in concept of faith, you know, tonight before we start. Ready and go. Verse number 14. Verse number 15. Hallelujah. Let me read it in... Uh, different versions before we take our seats. Allow me to do that. The Bible said, uh, can anyone tell the Lord what to do? We're breaking it down so that uh, we can be able to uh, get to 
the bottom of it. Can anyone tell the Lord what to do? Who can teach him or give him advice? In the 14th verse, the Bible said clearly, with whom does God consult? In order to know and understand and to learn how things should be done. In verse 15, the Bible said, To the Lord, the nations are nothing. No more than a drop of water. The distant isles are as light as that. Light as, light as weight. Not light as illumination. Light. Imoha. As weight. The Bible said the distant islands, in other words, he is referring here to the continents. The continents are just like as light in weight as dust. So, to the Lord, the nations are nothing. Ubisi wenye UK visa wenyami nyinyame. Hey, very interesting. President, they're very interesting. Ubisi wenye nyamsum fisi wasiri nyami nyami anye. Tu wenye nyamsum. But the Bible said, but the nations are like nothing. They ask nothing. If there is nothing, then <laughs> the clear revelation here is that why depend on the nations when you can depend on the God that created it? Say amen. amen. So I'm going to take my time for us to study God's word. We read this on Sunday. It was part of my submission uh, in the W3 service. Let me also read one that we read in the F5 service because... Some of you were also not here. And uh, some of you were not in both. And so it will be just wise and prudent to amalgamate. Hebrews chapter number 3 and verse number 13. We read this in the F5 service. What's my, uh, the Bible said, exalt one another daily while it is called, while it is called today. Least, of least any of you should be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Put it in our language, allow me to read it in our language also to your hearing. The Bible said very clearly, Nemo muntu tu mufo. Debiada. Which version is this one? Debiada wu bodini said, let me read what is in here. Debiada wu bodini said, ene. Na bone enada emprimumbi akuma. Hallelujah. Sometimes I want to ask, you know, how far do you want to go in the things of God? How far do you want to go with your Christianity? Do you come to church? I want to ask some very, very important. Do you come to church because you want a miracle or a breakthrough or do you come to church because you need a husband, a wife, a house, a car? Do you come to church because you have found somebody whom you want to contact and the person fellowships here and that is why you have come? Have you come because you want to chase a girl here or a boy or there is a new cabastai that you want to connect to or, you know, are you here because there is a credit union here? You know exactly why are you here? You know, or do you seek a relationship with the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the bread of life, the bright morning star? Is it about a relationship? If it is about the relationship with Christ, the dia, or I may be at all, Akumasu. But me person me did tell say Christo this year the ya. What he ne? Assembly one me meet me a preacher in your day. But we be tea. Yeah. 
And to say, I'm not going to be a to him. Yeah. I'm going to grow bent to him. And I'm going to grow bent to Yeah. And I'm going to be a good one. 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 Dia miya no umpe ba de bebo wawo. E bebo wawo. Ama kaya mama Gladys ebra de mfane krenzi. Ubi na efe chila nuwa mo se unhi ya ubi ya we ya ata na ata. You believe sinu ba kono no wa ya dete gana. Na wanchi ubi na unipako nya ata na ata wanchi kura wana ane mko. Ama nsu ya ata so na mu a wutiri mu moje na abi nwunu na mama glad to say twen won nan ama wa when i be hunu se bibi o wi ase what bow the kind in kone fe fa so at the said here o kro kro wo no na fe wa so twen nim o se di wutiri m i be say na minim na sa asam na so chere di wutiri m e no chere se me a wedi <laughs> what kind of language is that? Me limited him. Who me am me am I? I am me as he do it. Who do it to him? Hallelujah. Say a good amen. There are young men standing here who are going to be fathers, husbands in the next five years. I have a duty over their destiny. As a shepherd, I don't have to be standing here joking. There are women standing here that are going to be wives and mothers, leaders, pastors, shepherds, and I have a duty. Don't you think that we have an oversight over this nation? I said something on Sunday that is profoundly true. In the next, listen, in the next 20 years, most of our political leaders now will be dead. And God is the truth. You don't like the truth, but that will be it. Therefore, most of the people making noise today should be given attention because they will be in places. And those people right now must be aligned to integrity, truth. The other day, Pilate asked Jesus, what is the truth? Yet, the truth is standing before Pilate and he couldn't see it. A very clear description or depiction of this generation. No kurejina yeni mu enzi yewuru. Yewuru. Adi afi asum yewu yempe. Pesenji na chile ya yeyi. Wulai funa ijina so. But, wamu edidi agro do so. Yeah. Iba yo pa mamen titi ngom je isi ya. That is my ministry. Let me a kick her in Tassan by the Spirit of God at Chino. Manugu Swaye can your head now be bomba. Minim the ope. Yeah, minim the ope. And to sell me about Fratifi. Now, say, Mammy, pie ice cream. And then there now be your smeddy ice cream. Marco tea ice cream, my dear Matitisha, and no, and ope, we are numbered. I can promise you in the next one week, Obano. Will be mouth malnourished and malfunctional. We be better touch him straight. I want to nip it to you. We be better touch him. Why do we give a balanced diet to anybody, especially children? Nutritional balanced diet for their growth. Seba ya wumbi timi eni ni ye. Amen. I can meet you. Tenasi ya humbra si mi eni nkomo. The Lord bless you richly. Thank you very much. Good evening to all of you. Let me address you guys who have joined us. It is a great honor and a privilege. This is a non-denominational Bible study. I bring all of you into God's presence as an usher. And I want you to know by the time we finish up this session, the grace of God will brood over you and will tremendously settle you in Jesus' precious name. Say amen. I keep telling our team, especially those of you who have been with me for a very long time, I, I have been talking to you and saying that if somebody serves in the house of God, God rewards faithfulness over time. I will repeat what I just said. God, he rewards faithfulness over time. It is, we should only be as an usher, as a 
whatever, whatever, we shouldn't be. And they said, you know, the grace of God is going to honor you in a point. They said, uh, no, wo sumu nya mi fi ye no wo ko wo ame bo ho ban ade ye bi won ma wo mfam ayi nshira ni bi the lord can deliver you from numerous cesarean sections it's part of the blessings of the lord one of the things that the grace of god can do in your destiny and life is to lead you and direct you to the right spouse oh yeah we ni patini ni ni kari ni pa we pe na kwen na yin shira. Say a good amen. The Bible said as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the children of God. The Lord will lead you and guide you and direct you to the right people. Some will be for a reason, some for a season, some for a lifetime. You know, Mr. Tyler, let me just point out to everybody who is here in Bible study. Life is like a journey. If I start a journey from here to Kumasi, you know, and I am in a trotro, trotro mbejina nsawe, mbejina chibi, mbejina sumu, mbejina, you know, kwa anaswa, njine until we get to where we're going. Ijina bibesi, maybe kwa anaswa, yeah, I won't tell you, let me just do uh, uh, St. John's to Seca, or Accra. And no vati as you, mkoko hondi, tine mwe you free, I'm a summer and you have a trotro. Trotro, I'm not meeting the date and a trotro. When I'm in that room, I'm saying, Yanko fat trotro. Me fat trotro, I change Yanko fat trotro. We went and then we, we got ourselves into the trotro. I'm going to go to the business. I'm going to go to the business. I'm going to say, the person is busy, he's busy. I'm going to say, that's what fat trotro is busy. I'm going to say, that's what fat trotro is busy. I'm going to say, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Praise the name of the Lord. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm he drew Musa, he drew a Tantra runabout, he drew St. John's, he drew myself, 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 Sep trotro driver ne kase yem fa passenger we ya passenger ne for so sign yem fa no tie dia me be ka kire same thing you are the driver it be be on mo a o ka se me life you me unti me me i don't care how they force it be be how papa i'm serious it be be ah and the sick boy, let me say this to everybody. When wrong people come into your life, wrong things happen. <laughs> and when right people come into your life, right things happen. Life for Nagasa is short. Therefore, we can't take chances or play jackpot with it. Right decisions, right choices. This is why we sit down and we are being taught the word of God. When you are near let me proceed further, Mama Comfort, and, and say this. You know, for people who have uh, across 50 years, because I, I had the opportunity to meet a woman that had been 125. I won't quit here. Now, it is God that gives life. I understand that. But I wanted to know certain things that she has made a routine or principles or policies in her life that have been able to aid her to attract the favor and the blessings of the Lord. You know, and one of the things that she spoke to me about is truth. No correct. Number two. 
So she was talking to me about ideals. You know, One of the things that my men or enemy kick on, no more cause when my when him risk. It the first, second one is my when him will be here. Second, specifically, my when him risk. Money is a commodity or a liquidity that flows and uh, is going to flow to you when it comes. You know, as long as your effort, uh, you know, attracts or is eligible to that kind of reward, it will definitely come to you. Yeah, T.A. Adifua Iguano, you have no idea. It's just a matter of time. Oh, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. It will be somebody will be on another phase. They talk differently, have different people and company. And all that, yeah, this is how it's going to be. This is why I tell people, don't follow the pattern of poverty or scarcity. And straight away as that. You know, when this controversy came out about jewelry, you wear jewelry, you go into hell and all that. Kind of, the controversy started in Germany. And, uh, you know, it started with all these false teachings coming up and all stuff like that. There was something that I realized. One woman of God was asked, you know, what do you think about all this controversy that have plagued the body of Christ? And this was her answer. She said, what are they talking about? And then the, you know, interviewer said, uh, they're talking about jewelry. And then she said, you didn't hear my question. What kind of jewelry are they talking about? Is it real jewelry? Or Togo DNB. If it is real jewelry, a ring like this one, a ring like this one, would take you almost about 10 months' salary to get. So, you'll be catching yourself, flash it in the toilet. To you, that person is upset. That's your sweat. That is your sweat. So the lady was trying to say something. It depends where you live and all that kind of thing. There are certain things that God has been able to honor you as a reward for your labor. Be anywhere. The boss you tell me because the boss where they they may use any penny by say you be do as you they Nobody will do that. You have earned it. You have earned it. Who is going to do that? Nobody is going to do that. Say amen. So when I stand here and I create a dogmatic theorem for people and all that, make where kurase, church be on my meet me the aqua kurase, and people can buy into it. Take that same church to America. And go and try it there. Whether people will buy into your nonsense. Then you will be able to understand. I have told you. If it cannot be taught in America. Taught in Mali. Taught in Senegal. Taught in Mikro Mukwetiane Bomia. It's not the gospel. It's not the gospel. The gospel is timeless. It goes everywhere. It cuts across everywhere. We preach the gospel anywhere purely and it affects everybody. You know, coming to church, you know, it's, it's not about seeking solutions. We are not here to seek solution. We are here to seek salvation. You are not here because you wanted to stop. No, you are here to seek Jesus. Once you have Christ in your life, Abeifu now will advise themselves. You will not bother yourself. Omoa was a baby. When you have a baby, you can answer a higher heart from Timomi and Pepe Bimfa. Same that they, they just leave you alone. Say amen. Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 16. Allow me to start my submission for tonight. Close the formula. It's not a year. You're saying, What are you doing here? Put it on the screen and let us work. The Bible said, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another. The Bible said in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts unto the Lord. Now watch this thing and I want to break it down. 
The Bible said, let the word of Christ dwell richly in your heart in all wisdom. In other words, he did not say, let, let the word of Christ dwell richly in your heart. No. He said, let it dwell richly in your heart in all wisdom. Even in the dissemination of the word of God, in the preaching of the word of God, in the, in the outlining of the word of God, there must be the application of knowledge, which is wisdom. And right now, 2022, Pastor Elisha, I see that dominant scripture is working. It's Ezekiel 17. Ezekiel 17. Can you help me with verse number six downwards, possibly? Uh, you know, allow me to get the right course. Hallelujah. Say a good amen. All right. And then we can be able to work. There are three or four things that are dominant in the word of the Lord, and I see uh, that praise the name of the Lord. All right. Apparently, it's chapter 7, rather, and verse 17. Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse number 17. Allow us to study the, Lord. the Bible said, all hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. And then in verse number 18, the scripture said, and they shall also uh, gut themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them. And shame shall be upon all faces, and boldness upon all their heads. In the 19th verse, the Bible said, they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Put this in GNT. Let's read that one first, just for the sake of understanding. In verse number 17, the Bible said, uh, in that particular course, everyone's head will be, everyone's hands will be weak, their knees will shake, and then it went up to say, they will, they will put on sackcloth and they will tremble all over. Their heads will be shaved, and they all will be disgraced. In the 19th verse, the Bible said, they will throw their gold and silver away in the streets like garbage. Because neither silver nor gold can save them. When the Lord pours out his fury, they, shall, they cannot use it to start satisfy their desires or fill their, their stomachs. Gold and silver led them into sin. Let me read our language, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse Number 17, the Bible said, And send name ube gogo. Akutujin name ube ehuju sin su. And the Bible said, Na ube free free yi Um, And he goes on to say, Ube free free yi tuma. Na usi agu on. And so, Na eni ube katon. Eni mna. Na wona etifi ebe pa. And then in the 19th verse, the Bible said, Now we're about to one get a go emron also. Now we'll see Kabed and his sumra. And then he go went on to say that one get anyone seeking to me, you won't ever a day a buffo than him. Uh, you know, now one far what in other words, he's talking about see, can't get a one far my one man won't cry. What is he saying next again? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's fine. At least you are all trying. It's good. Say amen. Let me go back to verse number 17 and let's learn something 
in the word of the Lord. And as I'm speaking to you, Jedia, a war a sorry, a co a memum tememu, a cuckoo, a cuckoo. Serious, a cuckoo. This is the season where Ubiya Ujini Dipa will disappoint. <laughs> Ujini Dipa will be disappointed. This scripture is, is a very good description of this generation. And this is the last generation. And then the rapture takes place. And Jesus appears. And Ezekiel, eh, Shankom, he's saying that a brand new woman, oh, and send them over Google. Sabre, the entire maybe they came out, came. We make Christo Jesus and send banning them. We move every. The reason why I read, you know, Colossians three sixteen to you is because our seminar today we move every. Ah, the idea is so we jina horn. Obehu yase. Obehu yase straight. Yes, we are some party, but tonight we will be We say this is the time that you know. The reason why he used that particular bring back the scripture. The reason why he used that particular uh, description of water is because knees are going to be feeble and wallow, and the Bible said they will crumple and they will be as unstable as. <laughs> Will be unstable as water. Unstable as water. We're trying to counsel a couple, a pastor and his wife. And uh, you know, what they did is telling me are very, very unstable as water. Frivolous things, petty things have become big things. Are there any time, oh mommy? Are there another day? Are there any other 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 day? Yeah. Are there Yakura, Yasu, Yasu, Christo, and Zambena, and each of you as a baby, a green yabber. Saturday, I told it, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. I said, no, 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 it's too dangerous. When I can't say, I can see Angro for Pewi. I'm sitting let's go for a walk. Sometimes popularity is even denying us some freedom. So let's go for a walk. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll put on a hood. So I dress and I put on a hood, put on a nose mask with these guys. And then we stepped up. So I put on a hood, they did put on a hood. And we just enjoyed ourselves on the street. I been I saw you inside. I been I saw you inside. I for a walk on the tunche. I been I saw you don't want to say me me and me and me and the last time I saw you in Ya kura ya daji nya me adwuma ta ya nya ze nya brema ya yire no I came from the radio today and I uh, after Jim I said to Dede um I'm going to Alabasta city to wait upon the Lord me nkoja me so me kwa kwoja Pam we are on our Hours of prayer, liga da ba da ba kora da da ba kara ba da ba kora da da ba hara da da. You know, uh, we are having fun in the presence of God. Yeah, but but more and more men in my business as a fun band, no, holy fun, holy fun. Liga de ba ando ro do bo shara ba ande ge de ba anda gada adosha. Liga de de ba hara kadi ara ba. There are women here who will tell their husband, "Fefri misuko nyam ne nyam yafre." Yes, because you are not in tune. Yeah. 
Things will be as unstable as water. Serious. It me and Fanny said the damn could jam it. I'm called Quan as soon will be bed, Jiami or Gita, no, no, Chiami. Hi, sweet. Your friend, me, Anita, me, free Germany, Naba, me, Namba, me, and I start chatting. You blame yourself. Yeah, because you are going to be in the generation where the enzyme will be at you. Enzyme will be at you. In the perverted theater, no, Eya. Serious. I can see in the better theater. I'm seriously talking to the wise only. Only the wise. Because what see if you preach, you say that. And more and more they don't see. A Jimmy forty bong cost one way ni tiri. A dear me guy, I'm not even tired. I say that. I'm not saying we Jimmy forty we are too adrum. The one me see the flag you umpa. Me Jimmy some no the entry no one just say Jimmy for you Jimmy for. We be aware Jimmy we Jimmy. Who are you Jimmy for? I'm bread. I'm serious. Who pay for Jimmy for? Oko tina ati mata for us here. Boni deliverance. We Jimmy. Simple. We Jimmy. Hallelujah. You need to be ready to know. Ah. Boy, back up by your Bible school, you be fourth or fifth badge. I'm not too sure. We hear Bible school. The Okola born no shares of a tad here, and we took out an empire girl there. The buffoon is out then, we'll be able to cast one a girl net. I went in and want it. You see, the young were better than a yakas here. And some of the Google, a brave way, may say. Se yansha e kristo fwone dene. Anchile wa mkwanya ye dweura de sumya me. Wa homi nukure mwa. I'm telling you. Ni pa bibi ni bebe deku. Asempa na makachino. E ni pa bibi ni bebe deku. Me se yuro hui. Na aso fwone na ni mtiye. Richi ni biyo onu me mwa me. Ti mi ntiye. E mwa me. Asuma o kekare mwa me. Anointing for Germany. Me mpe ho. Me mpe hiya ho. By the grace of God, baby, I'm first me copy. I'm telling you, no one has ever done change. He has we, we. Who prepare? Who know how much we be our boy? The world. And until I'm moving, baby, baby, me na na efwa kani Dorothy. You be you, you know. Himbook, the other man, President. I was working on Babylon. I know I can get him book on his work. One day, make a him book on me, can him back. As someone you couldn't meet Jesus Christ today. I said, I am not the entity. You must answer. It is a brofua. Just say a free talk from now. I will answer and answer. But whilst I was reading it, it didn't sound like a song because every every text is based on a scripture. Him book no, which I care. Him no, a sort of honor. We will say, I'm not sure. And you're not sure. Normally, quotation, baby, I'm going to be free. Or Bible, normally, quotation in Swasha. It will be a quotation, me and one, I mean, I will him book. Normally, I shall. To be a big work or top pepper when you're me asem. To be a new me na, you're me asem. You're a new me na, you're me asem. Nothing, nothing confusing there. Nothing confusing there. I'm there, crossing a you who are. Ghana gospel musician, eighty-five percent ya ya refu. But the nyamia no nyamia chichiri for masai adomo. I'm telling you, you know when what you see all that, no? Good looking for young ladies who are serious. Young men that are serious, they love the Lord. They are, and then I may call the many the day Cassana may catch a yako, Alabasta City, a cobon pine, and I may catch a name. Tiasma, many catcher, we yummy, oh, pigeon, the puff of fro. Young men, 
And young women, one will be take you over from Otabel. You know, it's the immense stand, the immense num. You know, crunchy and cran num, crisi do tete num. One will be take you over from Ajinasare num. Duncan Williamson num. One will be take you over from Adibo num. One will be take you over from Uyadipunum. God is raising them up. At the same time, one will be take you over from Helena Rabos num. You know, one will be take you over from, you know, Steve Crouch num. Williams so is the wine as a nominee. Oh, my God, we're not going to be a God is raising them up. Son, I want to take you over from Bill Gates. You know, Warren Buffett, Carlos Slim, you know, uh, Richard Branson, Aliko Dangote, you know, people that are going to take over from despite no money idea. They are also being raised at the same time. And I may catch it, they say, Nanso! Nanso! Kesia! Oh! So when you make a page out, no, or the year you only page out, and they don't do what the page out or the insurer, a camp page, you know. Sani Amano, they are your tools. Everybody say tools. Can I hear you? Say if God gives you the tools, you do not leave tear you, you do not leave a juma, the main work. You don't leave the work, and then but catch it. I was a tools. A human is a baby, a tools or so. I have this, I have that. I fly business class. I dine with this person. Yes, I know. They are your tools, your tools, tools. What you drive doesn't matter. What you wear, it doesn't matter. Where you live, it does not matter. Focus on your assignment. Focus on your assignment. Focus on your side. May you know the tricky Ghana gospel musicians. If we are free, I could ask about a man a car by a conani tia is you could do. Car. Where did he hatch? Where did he hatch? Tina Katie Midada. O Piazza, when you mean here, a corner, a corner, a corner, we are see a corner, who name a corner, and you are a corner. O Jeffrey, who know, a city in my wawa. The Bible said in free a journal. O Jeff or Jeffrey, who know. With the car, you know, I have a sports car. None of you have seen it before. I've parked it for almost about four or five years. It's a nice sports car. It's a rough star. Just two people sitting in it. I took it to. Uh, 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 a washing bay. Boy, see by Mohro Kani Wee. Boy, say, Hey, what's up? Okay, you did. Me, I'm going to call this year, baby, I'm going to be. I'm going to be, 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 Boy, I come your hand with this guy. You really sorry, them. I saw them out. Cigar, you really sorry, them. I'm there. Then see you come in the video. Cheers, sir. That piano, that quick, you know, one ten. You know, ah, yeah, you know, you know, see ya. Two sunayos, I know. Hey, man, some of you are really over about two sunayos. Ha, need time, baby. I want to. Go to Ukraine and go and see that all things are vanity. It vanishes overnight like this. Train stations, nice cinemas, beautiful churches, bent down by bombs, fire, brimstone. Down! Dashenom. Car dealership. Mercedes, BMW, Range Rover, Yatutu Bomba, Bomodemo, everything has come down. Banks, you are down. Go and see television stations. They burn it down. I don't want to talk about hospitals and, uh, you know, teaching hospitals and places, very nice places in Ukraine. Gone. Overnight. Overnight. Just gone. And so if the people were boasting, I live in the affluent area, I dine with whoever and whoever, now you are a refugee. 
or Duminyame by the, the people whose faith is not in this are already cursing God by now. So Jesus said, teach them. Teach them that their faith shall not rest or stand on human ideologies, but on the word of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse number 3 and 4. 1 Corinthians 2, 3 and 4. The Bible said, yeah, I was with you in, let's read from verse 1 so we can get a better understanding. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse number 1. And brethren, when I came unto you, I did not come with the excellency of speech or with wisdom, declaring the word of the Lord or the testimony of the word of God to you. The Bible said, I determined to know, you know, I determined not to know any, anything or anyone, you know, among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. When you come to church, there is nothing else we are seeking nothing except Christ. Except Christ. You group. No! In the house of God. I'm telling you, the Christians are very quick to make friends, and the next thing they start fighting. And they will fight for a long time. Fight for a long time. You do tell me, God, so much. They say, Mrs. Brown, you are, you know, a pastor's wife. You joined the church. Many who are, may point you out from Bible. Who pass him, get here for two of them. And yes, sir, I won't pay. You better forward down for, and me say, I somewhere bet you, Shreddy, I show one, no, no, baby, Sassam, a can of that bay. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ and him crucified. In verse number, the next verse, the Bible said, I was with you in trembling and in fear. And the Bible said, in my, I, I was with you in weakness. God, take it back. I was with you in weakness and in fear and with much trembling. And he said, my message or my preaching, you know, was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the spirit and the power of God. Christ, nothing else. Christ, nothing else. Christ, nothing else. Bible, you mean what? We hear different versions. Said yeah, and yeah, King Kanwa hey, but to NIV, no to amplify, no to message. We to me to phone ten million. We to me to Bible two hundred. I don't know how far you want to go with the things of God. I'm living in the, I said in five years, some young men here are going to be husbands, fathers in five years. What is the preparation towards that place? Now God is raising an invigorated new breed of people, firebrands of ministers, entrepreneurs, politicians, businessmen, and all that, you know, coming onto the scene. And God is really, but I'm telling the people that, that, that if, if all you can see are the material gain, it means that you are suffering from short-sightedness. Christ and him crucified. He gave you that wealth or money to put it in the kingdom. The preaching of it. You have a duty to support that gospel. You have a duty. You have a duty to put your money into that. It is the gospel we are talking about. Say a good day, man. Praise the name of the Lord. Allow me to, you know, uh, go back to Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse number 16 and finish it well. You know, we are living in that particular time where, you know, the Bible said very clearly, uh, am I there? Verse 17, rather. Verse number 17. Oh, hence shall be feeble. Put it in a different version. This version uh, says, uh, uh, maybe message version. In the message version, the Bible said, every hand, hand hangs limp. Change it, amplify. In all hands will hang limp and all knees will be as weak as water. I'm living in that time. Weak as water. 
I hear people telling me things like, you know, when I read the Bible, it, something is telling me that God is not real and the Bible is not real, weak as water. The enemy will be pushing his agenda in this end time. And all the agenda is that let the believers doubt their God and his word. Finish. Once they doubt God and his word, they themselves will destroy themselves. Not the devil destroying them. Because when you have a page, you will be a son and you will be a page. But you will be a son and you will be a son. But you will be a son. But you will be a son. But you will be a son. When you have a son and you will be a son. My enemy, nobody can bring that person. Not Satan. If you see that person coming, that that person have allowed him his or her own self for elements and the enemy to bring him down. In other words, it was a self-destruction or a self interference that allow any external force to come through. Not Messi and Samu Begugo. 2019, before COVID, I'm a catcher, I said, BB, 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 When I look at uh, uh, America, from January until now, there have been over, over 10,000 people that have died from gun crime. Yesterday was America's independence celebration. They were having an independence march. Somebody pulled a gun. Gun six people down. At almost about 28 people. Last week, ABC. Last two weeks, ABC. Last three weeks, ABC. This is part of Honam, you know, and Sanwa Imu Gugono. Your own people will come and when you, you know, people from Taliban. Omo Taliban from Jawa, Omo Hujwa, Omo Ba. Nanze wanti buko aramonga. Ekoma siho. Ekoma siho. Asi afu ano komo de omo. Hallelujah. And some who go no sabre and a titty as a As I'm preaching, the Holy Spirit is doing his work. You are receiving an impartation for growth. Automatically, it's happening. He solidifies you, he makes you stand strong on your feet. No matter what happens, no matter what comes. Yeah. I will clean through the old rugged cross. And exchange it someday for a crown. No matter what happens, you are holding on to the cross. Go to the next verse and let's finish up. Verse number 18 of, uh, yeah. The Bible said, and they, they will also cover themselves with sackcloth. Fa, fa, uh, put it in our language. They will put it on the, the screen, put the scripture on the screen. In English for our audience online to be able to. Now we'll be free you to man. The Bible said that what they, you know. I was here going so now. And he went now. And he was a katawuna. And the Bible said now wuna a tiffin a bepa. And then in the next verse, which I will want to stage, yeah, he will say that and the woman to to one jita egumro no so na won sick a bed bola. Their wealth will be as nothing. As I'm speaking to you right now, South Africa has the, the, most, the most intriguing and in, intense doom so in the world right now. 
Who said South Africa will have a power sharing, power curtailment? We haven't checked pro. Light goes up, pro. Light goes up. South Africa right now has the most worst power cut in the world. A nation that was equated to a first world country. Mismanagement. The money will run. I'm talking to you. As I'm speaking to you right now, one of the hardest currencies in the world is Russia's ruble. The ruble is very intense right now because now they are not dealing with the world. You want to buy from us, we don't need dollar, we don't need pound, you change it into ruble. Ruble, no, go far away. They don't accept dollar. They don't accept pound. They don't accept euro. It's now ruble. As I'm speaking to you, CD is baller. I told you, CD is baller. If CD is not baller, you will not go to IMF. CD is baller. Put the scripture back. Was in our bed too and see Kegu Mronoso. Many years ago, when uh, President Mugabe was alive, people carried money in uh, uh, Ghana must go to go and buy bread. They can put on like one million Zimbabwean dollars for a piece of bread. That was how come their money depreciated. It was nothing. Because and this will be the answer to the question I'm about to pose. The question is, what do I do? The answer I have already spoken to you about. And I am going to quote a particular scripture. Uh, in the book of Revelation 14 and verse number 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. The Bible said in verse number 7, saying a lie, fear God! This is what you should do. Fear God! And give glory to him. There are certain things that you do as a Christian, it's an insult to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because if truly you fear God, you will not do those things. But because you don't fear God and you still call yourself a Christian and all that kind of thing, and still doing those things, it's an insult. Yeah. Is an indictment to the integrity of God. Put this in a different version. Verse number 7. In a different version. The Bible said in the, he preached in a loud voice saying, Fear God and give him glory. Another version. In this version, the Bible said, uh, Honor God and, and, and praise his greatness. In the next version, the Bible is saying, Give glory to him for the time has come for him to sit as judge. In the next one, the Bible is saying here, fear God with awe and reverence and give him glory, honor and praise and in worship because the hour of his judgment has come. In my language, verse number seven, the Bible said, now the Nicholas here, TM, we said, I will pick up on these two things whilst we close. Because if a born again Christian is going to be backed by heaven, you ought to fear God. You ought to fear God. You see all these Bible students that are here. And you will be here in your friend. Serious. Because I hear myself. Even you see my own pastors who are seated. And you will be here in your suffer. 
Confidence will be to me and show suffer, but you are not suffering. Because God has his own way of, you know, judging and equating things. The, the nations see themselves as something, but God sees them as nothing. We just read it. We read it. What was the scripture again? For the benefit of those who have just joined us. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse number 13. You know, let's read verse number 15. Put Isaiah 40 verse 15. Put it on the screen. Isaiah 40 verse number 15. The Bible said, behold, the nations are as a drop in the bucket. Put it in a different version and let us look at it carefully. Look at this. But the Bible said to the, to the Lord, the nations are nothing. To God. They might be boasting. We have Airbus A320. We have Boeing 757 and all that. We have an aircraft that we have a spacecraft that goes to the intergalactic well. We have that. The Bible said the nations are as nothing before the Lord. The splendor of the world as compared to what the heavens have created, sister, is nothing. COVID by enemy, who knows, says, our nations, you know, I'm not powerful as I thought. We be busy, me, you are in Koshere. Really? You know what means, Ruby? Do you think that's me, go, me, you are in Koshere? You are in Koshere? I don't go so Uba. Who should know who? I'm not even. No be as you them. It's the one be. We don't know what man said. As you them one year. Soon only an year no. Oh my, me just now I move no. Can I? The DNC no no. I don't have four months to do any of this. Well, hey, you need a dear home. A person you are when you are ready. We must go mountainous. Hallelujah. The Lord sees the nations as nothing. I'm doing so much, but the Lord sees it as nothing. The, the nations are just like a drop of water. Co Wow! Humble yourself in the eyes of God Almighty and in due season he will lift you up. Go back to verse number 17 of uh, Ezekiel chapter 17 of Ezekiel verse number uh, okay chapter 7 rather verse number 17 and let's go to verse number uh, 19 I think that I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And when I look at this in conclusion, I look at the last line because it is, a, it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Revelations and all is very clear. When we say Surunyame, I have taught you about a lot about the fear of God. So today, I won't go there too much. Allow me to talk to you about Shenan Wunyam. A castle will be Shenan Wunyam. If I was, I'm standing here right now. I'm a semi deed, I'm a Shenan Wunyam. I cannot come and stand here and, and, and disdain her and, and put her down. For example, if I stand here and I say something like, The moment I make a statement like that, I have Disney in her. That is number one. Number two. This is why Malachi chapter 1 from verse number 6 was talking about Akwa edini ureni Oba edine jeni Se jane miya He fa ena mi nidi ewa Uwura ane miya mi buo Ewa hene Yeah, yeah 
put it in English, in the, he said, a, a, a son honored his father, a slave his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? If I be a master, where is my fear? Say of the Lord. You know, he was speaking to us concerning the highest seed anybody can sow is not money. The highest seed is honor. Honor your father and your mother. It's honor. I close with that. If, if you get married and there is no honor, I don't understand why you are in that marriage. I'm telling you, and it will not be from the devil, it will be from G-O-D. I bet that in your mifiable book was see our tones. Eh, gelele, 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 Meanwhile, a dear a friend of honor, you need be. Oh, my prescription, you're the better to a bosomini at your buttons. Jai bona go to your mammy. Stop the lily lily. Go and pay for the prescription. Yeah, I'm, I'm teaching the simple gospel. Munchen and Winyam, and ye are no fafa. We have your shoe and Winyam Yokasia, ye, me radiant amino, need not. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about faith with wax. Wax. Jedia Ninuma. That is what I'm talking about. You say, you can so some bachelor bachelor, and then I'm gonna have an omnia. The people can quote scriptures, and that yet still they are lying. Quoting Bible, stop it! It is blasphemy. Quoting Bible, talking nonsense. In the name of the Lord, we will free the third commandment. Thou shall not use the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for God will not hold guiltless anybody that uses His name in vain. Because we quote scriptures and we don't leave the word, and the people can see the loopholes that we're talking all kinds of gibberish, and that, you know when they look at our lives, they rather blaspheme against the name of the Lord. That's how I want to Genesis chapter 4. And you could leave the word. Leave the word. Leave the word. Leave the word. Preachy, hear me, preachy. Sir, if I have a different lifestyle somewhere, I tell you, this is a waste of time. Did you know I am your dinner, bitch? At a very nice place. But I'm preaching. Said ye me ye a ye hypocrisia and kadina ni mum nan kesesa meko. Korin koko ponchenedda. E mekitam e brianwa yenya chum. Serious. Sorry, I mummy ko him put him for trena. E ye su Christo Jensi. Where is that when I'm showing for the Lord? Where is the honor that we honor the Lord? If he's a father, where is his honor? Where is his honor? The Bible said it was in Antioch that the believers were first called Christians. It was in Antioquia that the believers was first called Christians. Me, I want to see people who love God and fear God in authority. In authority, not hypocrites. In authority. Go and check South Africa's former chief of staff. 
The same man was appointed by President Zuma and he was the same man that sentenced President Zuma to prison. Man of integrity. He believes he came into that position by the will of God. Before court proceedings starts, he's on his knees. Eternal Father, the nation stands before you. Justice and judgment are the foundations of your throne. Lead this court. May we hear your word, your counsel, and your judgment and justice today and not human beings. He gets up and sits in his chair. Let proceedings start. Who we, we, we deserve it? 17 years, 17 years, 25 years, 25 years, 50 years, 50 years. Yet to Timamon, yet to Timamon, yet to Timamon. Here we are. And so, Lord, we give you honor and praise that you have led us today in Jesus. Next time, who could you do for the this year? Next time, move free, move here. the See, I'm a premise for one year. I'm a frappe through no more synchro for engine. Synchro for engine. And one year, the color near the afrim, no more near the yinkatia, yam near the kunkunta frim, no more near the near Tom and Crofon, whom you will check from Quasia life. Who's all about that? No woman fellowship, say, Mama Macani and Shrek. Be dear, be dear, never say, be dear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, Jezebel, man, and so bad, sorry, Nibi. You see, me, Jezebel, man, and a cast, I may better tear on by heart, by heart, in your poem. Yeah, cause see, I fool, no, you might win with you, no. One year, so my banana may have had my sister back, or better by now, had no tighten. By ya, cause you have the couple that is married in the church in Iceland. Quite well, we'll call Candy Baby, say, you know, so I get on the crest, say, Papa, and a chain, a boy, and a crown, one person, or I don't know, Papa, and a chain, by force, or then my boy, you know, our dear boy, and a crown, one prince, or no money, idea. The day we said this to the couple, they cried. They were shocked. Pity, I saw them, or no, so dear, no, no. Sister, we ain't so dear, you know, who toss a son, shan't I, dear, fatal. Nidia, yeah. no, no. But the one a penny, Peter, will be beer, cause. I said, no, you are overdressed. I will find my Bible study. Nanka, we are so dear. We see that so dear. You may so dear. Nanka, dear. But we are what she is. She said, Can you cry? My soul is shrinking. Do do. Can some of you? Bobo, my back. We are not in a mirror form. A condition cry. I know they won't change. My head is a mop up. See, yeah. Robert, you must say carpet is so. Nene, monye na monye. Nam from my mop carpet is so. I saw it. I'm high. Yes, I can do. So, in the moon, yeah. And nobody had the tear. Nanka. See, I've been insane. I did it. Hey, your pawn, sorry, me and Goofy. And I know what the poor petite and be see her and check no me eat it in Tia be see you. Gana flag is this match near the chicken home and that flag is such a chicken home. What can I say? Yeah, yeah, sorry, Papa Mumbe. Mumbe, ni Papa Mumbe. Nse bi skebi. Ebi si ne ye unu ni ye ni akafa ye. Ino mni adi. Mumbe chichami ye dibi ye. No mon chiche. Gana ye di kufu ado. Eko aye mefi. Mumbe ya muche e yi ofri. Muchiche mumbe ye yi unu ofri. Eno mni adi. Te ya sorry demo. E ba ye day. Na wenyami ye shila. Asi agene nen komon kwa. Hallelujah. I'm talking to the wise only. Only the wise. Say a good amen. Lift your two hands and begin to pray in the spirit. Kotakra daka virika dokoshke de maanda. Zia na kadabaha. Focus. Paragadim moroshke de madakandos. 
Sida da da bahada ke vende koronda ka. Parash ke de ko vahadiba. Mos padando ria andus. Fironda kanta maragash. Mm. Kadade de de. Suda da da mahandos. Jesus. Work on us, creating us. A clean heart, O oh God, renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not from your presence. Take not your spirit from us. Restore unto us the joy of your salvation. Renew a right spirit. See that on a man, oh. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, for Spirit of the living God, yes, Spirit of the living God. Sing it one more time. Spirit of the living God. Of the living God. Fall afresh. On me. With a me woman. Spirit of the living God, oh, fall afresh on Sing it for the very last time. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, oh, fall. Somebody commit your life into the hands of the Lord and we are asking God, renew us and strengthen us and help us and grant us the grace and the order to be able to serve you in spirit and in truth. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Help us in the name of Jesus. I see an element of God. Somebody lift your voice in prayer. Kada na 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 bahandosh, para na 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 haya, zia le 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 le. Kuka kada na 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 bahu, 
Every request you have, bring it before the Lord quickly before we close. Bring it before the Lord. Bring it before the Lord. Before we close. I put but the, the, the text or the words of the song that I have. Put it on the screen, sweet. Come on. A two hands are lifted. I commit you and your family, a spouse, your children, a future, your plans. I bring it all before the throne of God. And I'm asking the God of all wonders, the God of the miraculous and the supernatural, may this month of July, the month of miracles, may He put you or place you or cause you to be accelerated. On the road of wonders. May the Lord perfect his work with you. As he works on all of us. To bring us to a perfect man in Christ Jesus. And when he appears we will be his pleasure. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Clap your hands. Pick up your offering as we close. I declare his blessing over your finances. May he continue to favor your enterprise. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Come and engage the altar. I love bless you. Oh, yame na domara kwa na ye da su ti asi ye di bia ko ye ka se o ma ye po na mi si Oh, yame na domara kwa na ye da su ti asi ye di bia ko ye Oh, 
Hey, chief, chief, chief. Oh, yeah, yeah, say so. Oh, yeah, yeah, say so. I'm on your back, quite a quiet different life. Actually, say. Hallelujah. So, look at Cassia and Sassia. Oh, a kiss. Hallelujah. God bless you for coming. We appreciate all of you, but allow me to conduct an altar call. Uh, for everybody that is online and even people that are here. You are here and you don't know Jesus as Christ and Savior. Can we shut the amen of faith? And I will want us to uh, right now lead as many people who want to give their heart to Christ or rededicate their life to the Lord. Your hand is on your heart. Say, dear Jesus, Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. From tonight, all the days of my life, I will serve you. I will love you. In Jesus' name. Father, I honor you for everybody who prayed that prayer. Let your grace abound. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say amen. amen. Clap your hands for the Lord. All right. So thank you very much. The Lord bless you. The great news is that tomorrow we are receiving one of God's awesome prophets at Forest and Bible Cassia. It's a surprise you can't miss. Eight o'clock we start and then 10 we close. On Saturday we are receiving a wonderful woman of God. Uh, you know, also in the morning. 6 to 8.30, you can't miss that. It's going to be awesome. Uh, this is going to be our fourth week. And then in the fifth week, we'll be preparing ourselves after the fifth week for Forest and Bible Kessier, our four days fasting and prayer. Uh, we'll get ready for that one. So don't miss. You may be a warrior, but you may be a warrior, but you may be a Hallelujah. Say a good amen. All you guys online, we love you. The Lord bless you. I really, really honor and appreciate you. Don't miss um, Jesus Rally on Thursday uh, on the same uh, page. The grace of God will be a portion. We're going to another location this particular Thursday. I mean, Eight in the morning, transmission start. So don't miss that. The Lord will bless you and favor you. Tomorrow we start that day with OK101.7 FM. And then also with uh, United Television, Dan Kwan Sam will be airing at 5.30. To, on Thursday at 5 on Atinka TV. Then on Thursday, 1.15, after our midday news on UTV. Don't miss. The Lord will bless you. Your two hands are lifted. You guys online, when righteousness becomes a lifestyle, Breakthroughs, it becomes automatic. May the Lord bless you. I love you. See you all next time. When I see the beastly activity coming, I see it is attacking a system that is attacking the patience and the faith of the believer. This generation is an intolerant generation, intolerant government, intolerant leadership, intolerant church people, intolerant church, intolerance intolerance look at that here is the patience and the faith of the saints yeah why well, we want god to do something for us but we have no patience impatience impatience you put people in office they are very intolerant they loot as if there is no tomorrow Shocking! 
and he's talking about patience and that is one thing this generation doesn't have I am going to tell everybody who is watching me and listening to me be careful you don't miss the narrow gate because <laughs> it is so eminent when you the Bible said you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God you might receive the promise 2022 if there is a commodity you need patience patience you need patience in prayer patience in your faith patience in your family patience be patient with your wife and with your husband be patient whole humanity the human race one of the words that is making us all mad is the word trend what is the song that is trending today the christians want to know the secular song that is trending the christians want to know the celebrity making news today the christians have gone mad we want to follow what is trending people get up in the morning and they want to ask what's trending today Jesus is trending the whole day and you have refused to see it. Jesus is trending everywhere and you have refused. What is trending today? I'm telling you. Jesus is trending the whole day. Time has come for judgment to begin the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, deception, manipulation, seduction. The house of God have been a place of ridicule. The house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words. The house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality. The house of God now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness. The house of God now has turned